Reporting for Newsreel, I'm Dr. Anthony Harper here at the NRB Convention uh, here in Nashville, and uh, I'm with uh, Tommy Waller. Uh, thank you, Tommy, for joining me. Thank and, you. And some very key issues that are uh, happening uh, regarding Israel, especially the special bond evangelicals have with Israel. Right. Can, can I share with uh, our viewers about you know, what you've been involved with in Israel and uh, how you came to know the Knesset members I know, Sharon Haskell and Yehuda Glick? Those, those uh, two are very special friends of ours. Um, Hayuvel, our organization, has been in Israel for the last 16 years helping uh, Jewish farmers in Judea and Samaria specifically uh -huh. uh, to replant vineyards, olive groves, uh, uh, things like that. And <clears throat> over a period of time, my, my voice is gone, my, uh, the, we have gained a, a real uh, special relationship with the Jewish people. And um, uh, it, is, uh, it's, it is an odd thing for Christians to come into Judea and Samaria. So most people, some people refer to it as the West Bank uh -huh. and, uh, and to help uh, the Jewish people there because the, the political situ situation in Judea and Samaria has been, has been uh, a little bit confusing or a lot confusing to Christi Christians in general and you know, really confusing to the whole world. Uh, so mm -hmm. when, when Hayyubel started um, about uh, 16 years ago, we had developed a, a reputation of being a blessing to Israel. And so Yehuda Glick and Sharon Haskell, uh, two Knesset members at the time, uh, were actually held an event at the, at the, uh, in, in uh, the Knesset to recognize Hayyubel as a, uh, to honor the work of Hayyubel and uh, the volunteer program. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was a, uh, there, we actually, uh, we've done a lot of things together, a lot of, uh, mm -hmm. um, a lot of events together. Uh, they are very dear friends of mine. So, okay. And I think yeah. they would say the same about me. Now, Dr. Jim Garlow, uh, you know, I've been had a brief meeting here with him in an interview, and he spoke uh, highly of you here and his special connection with Israel. And um, you know, people can learn more about Hayavel through a website. Yes, uh, Hayavel is at uh, um, you know www.hayovel.com. Okay. Uh, and that's yeah, Hayovel is actually a, a Hebrew word for the Jubilee. Mm -hmm. uh, ha is the, and Yovel is the Jubilee. So uh, we like to think that you know, when Christians are returning and, and uh, walking uh, in the land of Israel, helping the Jewish people, it is a sign that the, we're coming close to that Jubilee. So we're really excited about that. Yeah, you know, especially I think about the, especially the, the bond between evangelicals and uh, Israel and why that is so important uh, in light of the rise of anti-Semitism. You know, it, it, it is uh, sad. Um, you know, the 2000 year history, though, actually painted a different picture because Christians were at the, uh, the forefront of anti-Semitism. Mm -hmm. It seemed to be, um, you know, a lot of our uh, church history has been uh, entangled in that, uh, in that narrative. And uh, it's been difficult for us to overcome that. But I think with the advent of Israel's restoration, mm -hmm. 1947, the UN vote, and then the establishment in 1948, and then the miracle war in 1967, you know, Christianity started waking up. Wow, this is not what I thought it was. You know, replacement theology lost its real, its, uh, mm -hmm. its uh, ground uh, with these, these miracle events that happened. The Jews were returning, just as the prophets were saying. The land was being restored agriculturally, just like the prophets mm -hmm. talked about. So I, I think the uh, uh, now uh, is uh, Christianity. Thank God, Christianity is is waking up to, to to see God's hand moving on the people in the land of Israel, and it's something we can't we can't turn a you know blind eye to. Uh, mm -hmm. We have to recognize it. Uh, and believe that God is actually doing it. And, and so it's, it's changing the way Christians feel. Unfortunately, still, there is still anti-Semitism in the church even mm -hmm. uh, that still needs to be rooted out. It needs to be, uh, but part of that is through education. 
So part of how you build uh, work is not just uh, not just uh, agricultural uh, and even volunteerism. It's actually uh, we're very much involved in the advocacy part, uh, which is actually training Christians to go back and share what they're learning, the physical reality and mm-hmm. prophecies of Scripture in the uh, in their experience. Mm-hmm. So that's exciting, um, and, uh, and and it, and it's actually. Uh, very powerful because uh, this is something that the the uh, the volunteers are actually experiencing. So it's not a theological, you know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, it's it's not a, a a speech that they're giving. This is actually something that they they've actually experienced. They're seeing it firsthand. I mean, Jesus was saying to his disciples, "If the prophets could see what you see." Um, and that's what's happening when people come to, to Israel and work in the land. We're actually seeing the, the, this uh, manifestation of what the prophets dream. Mm-hmm. And Yeshua could be saying the same thing. Jesus could be saying the same thing to us. Mm-hmm. You know, that, the, the, that the, the prophets would love to see what you see. And we're living in that mm-hmm. generation right now. We have a very special time. Yeah. And, um, so I'm look, learn, looking forward to, to learning more about this. And of course, like you said, people can uh, check out your website, Hayabel, yes. H-A-Y-O-B-E-L.com. And then they can type in your name, uh, Tommy Waller, and uh, find you that they, way. They can, there's a lot of information about the volunteer program there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are, we're the only Christian organization that's actually working uh, 100% in mm-hmm. Judea and Samaria. So yeah. it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a wonderful opportunity. Most of the Bible is written on the mountains of Israel. Most of the mm-hmm. most of the scenes that take place in your scriptures happened on those mountains. Thank you for your yes. sacrifice and encourage people to pray for Israel yes, never please. before. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you for what you're doing. You're welcome. It's great, and, uh, great to be here. Much success in the White House and your work. A challenging time at the White House, you know. Yes. Thank and you. Uh, here for the NRB convention, Nashville.